Hello, my name is Rain, and oh, <laughs> this is weird, isn't it? Yes, you can see my face now. <clears throat> Anyways, it's late at night. <laughs> it's it's late at night. I have work early tomorrow morning, and I just thought, why not play a horror game? What could go wrong? What could go wrong? I don't. There's nothing that could go wrong. I see. I see no problems with this. I. <laughs> Give me two seconds. I just need to do some real quick math. So I actually, that's probably, no, it's, it's just, I heard this game's about 20 to 30 minutes long. So I'll probably, so yeah, I think I, I know what I'm doing professional here by now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyways, this is called The Hospital, made by Crux Game Studios, which, who made the, the Decrypt. And if you don't know, that game stressed me out really, really badly. And I really wish that I had my face cam for that video because that would have been gold. <laughs> that would have been really good. But anyways, we're going to play The Hospital, which is apparently is a visual novel, which I did not know until two seconds ago. <laughs> but we're just going to jump right into this. What could go wrong? <laughs> I'm already shaking already. <laughs> Best experience of heaven. I got that. Easy. It's dark, I'm sorry, but you know, horror atmosphere, right? <clears throat> Adjust the brightness using the bar until you can barely see the word crux. Oh, <laughs> barely would be like right there for me, but I know things are a little bit darker on YouTube, so I'm probably gonna go about there. Let's chalk it up to me having bad eyesight. <laughs> Hence the glasses. <laughs> I don't like the look of this. My plastic feet. <laughs> when the virus got me, I was hoping I would be among the majority who got only the mild symptoms and recovered quickly. But my condition grew worse day by day. I checked into the into this house. <laughs> I checked into this hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room, and I was luckily, lucky they managed to find one. There are no vacant rooms in hospitals across the country as the pandemic wreaks havoc. I can read. <coughs> it's a... Hold on. It's a pandemonium out there. So many sick, so many dying. I feel like I've become a number, a, st a statistic. <laughs> I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about having to put me under to intubate me if my condition got worse. What if I don't make it? I w <laughs> it would be a horrible way to die, alone in this room. I was never a believer in God, or in heaven, or in hell. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I've never really stopped to think about it until now. I guess I was too busy living a life and chasing shadows to think about death. Side note, <laughs> I should have mentioned this. There are some dark topics mentioned in this before I forget to mention, you know. It would have been nice to know at the beginning, but... <laughs> dark topics are mentioned. I'm feeling weak, so weak. I think I'll sleep now. can barely breathe. I stand. <laughs> I'm up. How am I up on my feet? That's what I was wondering. <laughs> I got a glowy light here too. It's changing color, so you know, to keep the mood. <laughs> Setup is very, very beginner. <laughs> I can't remember getting out of bed. Hint, walk around using WASD keys, looking with your mouse. Observe your surroundings by clicking on objects in the world. Almost like every other game. Almost. <laughs> Hint, the game saves automatically. You do not need to save the game to resume where you left off. So I will die often. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Medical device. I know nothing of. It's silent. I remember the doctor and nurses hooking me up to this thing. It's infernal beeping and hiss of pumping, pu pumping oxygen. 
can speak, guys. <laughs> By the way, English is my first language. <laughs> It's one of those terrifying things in a hospital. All the machines whose purpose who, whose purpose you don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, how did I, yeah, disconnect from everything? I'm standing, somehow. Um, even though I wasn't able to breathe two seconds ago? Uh, my hands. <laughs> hospital bed. <laughs> my bed, it looks as if it was recently made. When did I get off it? Who came in and made it? I don't remember any of it. You secretly died in your sleep, and then this is just your ghost wandering around, and the bed has already been made for the next person. <laughs> big brain, guys. Big brain. <laughs> the rest of the room looks neat, too, as if this room was recently vacated. I spent days on this bed, struggling to breathe. It feels so weird to be up and about. Yeah, if you're not struggling to breathe, I'd suggest you probably died. <laughs> All the TV ever played was news about the pandemic, about the daily death toll and the crashing e economy. <laughs> Sound familiar? I'm sure it does. I told the nurse to turn it off and take the remote away, watching TV as I whiled away those endless hours, struggling to breathe, only made everything seem worse. Sad, but yeah. Bathroom? Don't. The bathroom door appears to be locked. I shall not bother then. <laughs> I can't mess with the vents, which is thank gosh. <laughs> Chair clock. The clock doesn't seem to be working. Ah, oh, it's nine o'clock. <laughs> um. Switch. No. Door. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are gonna get a laugh out of this, I bet ya. That person out there. Maybe a doctor? I need to find out what's going on. Or you have to. Or you don't have to, you know. Where is everybody? When I checked in here, these corridors were full of activity all day and night, filled with nurses and doctors and patients. I've been to the hospital before. Nothing all that serious. Just mini strokes. But I've been to the hospital, and, um, it's very unpleasant. I was very cold. Couldn't sleep. I'm surprised I slept at all, but I did, somehow. <laughs> nice sprint. Uh, no, not that I know of. <sighs> Door. Locked. Strange. There are no signs. I could swear these, there were signs beside these doors. Cardiology, obstet obstetrics, radiology, etc. <laughs> Why are the windows opaque? I can't see a thing through them. Opaque. Opaque. I know how to read, I swear. This was my room, I'm assuming. And... This is everything else. I don't know. I'm not gonna try to read that because I don't know where I am. Unless there's a big bright arrow pointing to where I am, I'm not gonna figure it out. And there's not. <laughs> um, do I go here first? Locked. That's odd. There are no room numbers. I'm pretty sure I'd seen room numbers when I checked. Eh, yeah, weird. That says exit. Maybe I save that for last? The lady went this way. Locked. Locked. Sealed, just like the others. Oh, exit! Here I come! <laughs> I'm assuming nurse station. When I checked in here, struggling to breathe, there were two... There were two harried, har harried, but kindly nurses sitting behind the desk, answering calls, filling, filling fi filing papers, welcoming patients. They sure had their hands full. Lock. Okay, I won't bother. Box. Nope. No luck. Didn't these doors open out to a lobby with elevators? That would have been my way out. Except it looks like I can't leave this way. I should probably find another way out. <sighs> oh, 
Hello. I'm gonna make some great shorts out of these. I hate this. <gasps> I don't, I don't trust. I don't trust this lady. I got jump scared twice and now I'm like. <laughs> are these patient wards? Why are they deserted? There's gotta be someone, a nurse or a doctor who can help me and tell me what's going on. Yeah, why is there no one else? Maybe they all booked it and ran without you, buddy. <laughs> they were like, oh no, hell nah. Uh, no way am I staying here. Is that door open? That door doesn't look open. What? Someone on the other side of the store? Doesn't budge. <laughs> this guy made the crypt, and you couldn't have seen my face, but that game stressed me out so bad. <laughs> Someone's on their period. <laughs> That's in the middle of the bed. That's a period. <clears throat> this room looks like just the one I was in. But it's a mess. Doesn't seem to be power. How awful. There's some kind of stain. I guess this bed wasn't cleaned after the last patient. <laughs> Depart. Oh, it's the TV. <laughs> That's not so bad. That figure. That's bad. Sound came from out there. Can I hide in the bathroom? Nope. Probably wouldn't want to hide in the bathroom anyways. Figure I saw on TV. Reminded me of... No, it can't be. I must be imagining things. My ex-girlfriend? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm assuming this is a male playing. <laughs> Maybe that's what this whole thing is. Some lucid dream I'm having while my body lies in some, in some kind of coma. Maybe. And here we go again. What could go wrong? It's a ghost lady. Come back. Help me, please. I say come back hesitantly because don't come back. <laughs> I'm really like far out. I'm just sorry. Let's hold it. I don't. I'm just scooting back away from the monitor because you know I don't want to be up close and personal. But you know. Locked again. Fair enough, I will not bother. <laughs> Someone toying with me? Am I being led? That figure I saw. What about this figure? You didn't get me that time. It can't be her. This is a dream, a nightmare rather, which in which I'm trapped. How can it be her? Who is her? I want to know. <laughs> Sound comes from my what my right. It's weird. Um 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 ever recall going down any sort of stairs into any sort of basement. What? How? How did I get here? I recognize this place. 
That's not a good sign. It's furniture in the way they're arranged. This looks like the apartment where we used to, where we used to live. Girlfriend or wife. Except everything looks abandoned and gone to rot. There's something on the table there. There's nothing on the table there. I don't know what you're saying. <gasps> Damn, that did get me. Hello? It can't be. It can't be her. I can't see her face, but I know her anywhere. How was this possible? She's been dead for four years. I was just about to say, she's probably been dead for a very long time. Nia, is that you, my long lost love? This is a real, I'm dreaming, clearly. Nia, is that you? The, that familiar silence. The light's gonna come on and she's gonna be a zombie. She's gonna bite me and I'm gonna be infected. <laughs> you caused this pandemic, I bet ya. This is a monstrous dream. Memories of those horrific events of four years ago are coming back to me. The doubt and the guilt that have haunted me since. Do you have something to do with her death? Could I have saved her life and I and had done things differently? Have had I done things differently? And at what cost? I couldn't have saved you, Nia. I'm sorry for what <laughs> I'm sorry you're dead, okay? It's just, you know, life happens. I don't know what have happened. I don't know what happened. So how can I say um, I couldn't have saved her when maybe I could have? The fact is, though, I didn't save her. So sorry, what happened, Nia? I'm just gonna go with my gut. I couldn't have saved you. Only cold silence, not the familiar silence. What does she want? Okay, you got me a little there. She's a little pale. Nia, am I going crazy? Or is this some fever dream seated by my past while my body lies wasting away on a hospital bed? Ah! Furniture, the couch, the tables, all props from the past. I'd much rather forget. If this is a dream, how does it all feel so real? I can smell the rot of this place, a vile smell. None of this makes sense. This apartment, it was where she and I lived together for before it all went to hell. Nia. I remember this picture. We had taken it out by the beach uh, just after yet another bitter fight. Sounds like you didn't have the best relationship. She was just 24, but by then she had already begun to show increasingly frightening signs of mental illness that would later consume her. That's not a good sign. Erratic, violent shifts in temperament, brooding silences, fixed stares, an obsession with my whereabouts, self-harm. I tried to get her to get help, but she refused. When it was clear she was becoming a danger to us both, I ended our relationship. Okay, see, that's not your fault. And then it got worse, a lot worse. The phone calls, the stalking, the threats. Yeah, she's not well. Good on you for breaking up, though. And finally, I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed, staring at me, her dark eyes empty and unreadable, her mouth stretched into in a chilling grin. <laughs> and when I saw what she was holding in her hand, a knife. Sofa, furniture, how is this happening? Just a crumpled rug. We won't worry about that. Pictures. Pictures. What is this place? Um, kind of like a hospital, but not like a hospital. I better not get freaking chased on one of these corridors. <laughs> you know me and chasing, I don't, we don't mix. <laughs> hmm. Your feetsy might get cold. You need me to, no, I won't mess with you. Who would abandon a dead body here? The stench is terrible. I should move on. And that I will. 
Fudge. I'm gonna check all the doors. Okay. Okay. That thing's gonna get up. Doesn't budge. guys I'm fine <laughs> now the jump scares has happened it's fine she's doing this I don't know how she is toying with me I must find a way out of this nightmare and the doors open I knew that She's laughing. Psycho. <laughs> She's crazy. Don't come out from the ceiling. I've had bad memories with ceilings. You all should know if you watched my Paranormal Entities video. Or the short. On that night four years ago when I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife, I called it. As I watched, she raised it and held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to live without you. Toxic relationships. Before she could hurt herself, I leaped at her, grappled the blade away, and subdued her till the authorities arrived. They put her away in an institute, a mental hospital. And a week later, I got that terrible call. How do you kill yourself in a mental hospital? <laughs> um, cut that out. <laughs> uh, there's no backing out of that, is there? How'd she kill herself in a mental hospital? <laughs> Where'd she get the rope? <laughs> she, uh, I'm sorry, she hung herself. Whoa. Nia, oh god. Why did you do it? Why did you have to go like this? They told me you wrote that what you wrote on the note, your last words. <laughs> I hate you, I hate you, you did this to me, how could you? Oh, sorry, I skipped it. Um, I did what I could, why are you tormenting me? I think he said something like, I didn't mean to or something, I don't know. I did what I had to, something like that. I, did, oh, I skipped it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, Nia, what do you want from me? I think of that note you left, the last words you ever wrote. You wrote, I'm never going to let you go. I know those words were meant for me. Is that what this is about? Oh, that if I'd done things differently, perhaps been more compassionate, you might still be alive? More compassionate? Dude, she's a psycho. <laughs> Also, that makes sense now why she's tormenting him. He probably died and now um, she's waiting for him on the other side. <laughs> I gotcha. You didn't trick me this time. Crux Game Studios though, if you're watching, oh my god, Decrypt was the best. I loved it. Seriously, like the best horror game I've ever played. It was great. Hi, I'm back in my room. How did I get here? Nia. Dun dun dun. Dead body. <gasps> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Can't click on beep boop on. So nope, not doing that. Do I dare go out there? What will I find? A bustling hospital? Smiling faces telling me I'm better and I can go home? Or shadowy halls haunted by my past? Am I in a coma, trapped in a body that is wasting away while I suffer a fever dream born of guilt? Or am I dead, and this is my afterlife, these dreaded halls, and a tormented soul stalking me for all eternity? We will see. <gasps> the end. Oh, just in time, too. Game Studios. <gasps> I love I love their games, man. They're just so good. Oh. 
I don't know if you can see my arms, but we did it! We did it! Alright, I survived. Look at that! Alright, this video, like I said, it's late. And, uh, <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's late, and, uh, I have work 6 a.m. to noon. So, <laughs> I gotta get up real early, but it's fine, it's fine. <sighs> that was the hospital made by Crocs Game Studios. I loved this. This was great. This was nice. It was short and, um, yes, and the whole face cam thing. Be expecting more of this gorgeous face. <laughs> uh, yes, I will be, from, from now on, I should be posting with a face cam. So, look forward to that. <laughs> I don't know if you do or don't, but hey, you know what? You get what you get. <laughs> um, but yes, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you all for supporting my channel and watching my videos. I really hope you enjoyed. And I hope you all a good night or a good day or whatever it is for you guys out there. <laughs> I love you all. Goodbye.